People call me obsessive. They say I'm going too far. Really? You sleep on this thing every day. It's the only thing protecting your back. You know, it amazes me that the bed industry has been able to ignore back health for so long. Not anymore. A mattress built to provide the body with rock solid support is nothing without a base built from the materials which provide equally solid support. That's what this is. An indestructible bed for an indestructible spine. The indestruct nature of it appealed strongly to me. I kind of think that the world's drowning a little bit in like sort of badly produced and cheap breakable items. And to start a brief with we want this thing to be unbreakable and last forever is like a, a manner from heaven for a designer like myself. I think, you know, if you're going to make something, you may as well make it really well. What is the SD Indestruct bed? It's an amalgamation of a whole lot of different skilled trades and designers who have put their minds to solving problems that some of us didn't even know existed and creating a really special product. At the time, I think it was a crazy idea. Building a bed with such rigorous standards is not something that, that I've seen or, or don't think I'll see into the future. Seeing the product you know, evolve through many iterations and have modifications through scientific analysis and change, I don't think it is so crazy. I think it's now a standard that didn't exist before but should have. So why is an indestructible frame so important? When you look at the bed frames on the market, what you see is an emphasis on aesthetics. Now don't get me wrong, how it looks is very important. We all want a bedroom that gives us positive energy, but often the decorative features of a bed frame is as far as it goes, with very little thought having gone into structural integrity. And so we see these frames that look amazing, but inside, they're literally made of matchsticks. These are the frames that sag, wobble, squeak, and fall apart. They cause your mattress to sag, endangering your back. Yeah, you all right? Yep. So, I don't even know where to start here. There's nowhere for this energy to go but through to the floor and snap beams. Timber that's, you know, installed as support beams hasn't even been able to hold up under its own weight. <sighs> Look at this cardboard here. This is like, I don't even know what that is. Between, you know, this aesthetically pleasing outside, we've probably got three mil of foam, maybe not even, maybe two mil of MDF, some chipboard that's, you know, that suits your kitchen builds better than a bed, some more MDF, and then a rail that's supposed to be supporting your back. Yeah, like it's just... It's a wreck in every sense of the word. This is the sort of thing you see when cars hit something too fast and then you know, they, can't, they can't absorb the damage. Like it's the, the only way to put it is catastrophic. And then, I mean, in the same breath, you know, there's noticeable impact damage around our legs, which is not surprising. This is exactly as we tested and exactly as we expected, but it's still in one piece. 
It still resembles the same thing that was built and hanging in the air not that long ago. Nothing's disconnected, every panel's still on. I mean, it's fair to say there's one that was able to handle the damage and one that wasn't. I don't know which one I'd prefer to sleep on, that's for sure. We live in a time where our lifestyles put our bodies in terrible positions. There is an epidemic now, the aches and pains of the modern lifestyle. Sore neck, sore back, sore hips. Just about everybody now is susceptible. And what we see is a lot of attention to certain things to prevent it. Stretching and yoga, exercise, ergonomics. But what about what we sleep on? That determines your body's position for many hours during the night. When it comes to preserving your body and your health, it's just wrong to think you shouldn't worry about what you sleep on. It has a massive influence on your spine if you buy a really high quality mattress, but you put it on a poor quality frame, the frame is gonna sag, the mattress is gonna sag, and that's gonna be bad for your back. This good looking bed that's badly built, it can put your body into a bad stretch for the entire night. But when you get up in the morning, you have to deal with gravity, and that's when bad things can happen. Some people think it's actually caused by the way you got up, but actually, it's just triggered by that event, probably caused by the hours you just spent in a bad bed. It's called the SD Indestruct, as it's earned that title from rigorous tests. Tests that have more in line with automotive or large-scale manufacturing than they do retail consumer goods. This is a car crash test facility. The winch below me is usually used to pull cars towards that big brick wall at pace. The SD Indestruct bed is designed to protect your back. That's what it's intended to do. That's the number one priority. Today, we're not going to be testing cars. We're going to be testing the SD Indestruct. A lot of beds are made to look good, but not really made to stand up to much abuse. You get things like cheap pine timber that's been stained to look like something else, or very, very, very poorly kind of manufactured thin steel members, if any. Fixings that aren't really designed to do what they're doing, you know? A bed takes a lot of sort of stresses, and generally I don't think that they're made to withstand those stresses. Considering it's something that you spend a lot of your life on, it's important for it to be high quality and to last. Bad bed bases sag because fixings aren't done up properly, slats begin to bend in the wrong direction, things are held in by plastic fasteners, legs are never up to the job, inferior materials are used, I mean, the list goes on. When Winston said that he wanted to build an indestructible bed, I knew that this wasn't a spontaneous idea. I knew that he, this is something he was thinking about for a while, and I knew there were some solutions that he, he knew he could find. The Indestruct bed is comprised of two parts, solid steel core support structure and the artisan skins. It comes with a bed head, but also has a base only option. The steel core support system is made up of five key components. One, the 50 kilogram steel chassis, designed to support a few tons of weight. Two, the dual C-spine support beams. These are designed to give uncompromising support to your back and prevent mattress sag. When testing bed bases, we found a significant weakness around the mattress support commonly being timber. Most of the time a synthetic grade timber, sometimes a hardwood, which is preferable, but still doesn't exhibit the characteristics of steel in its ability to flex, move and distribute load in a far more uniform fashion. 
all the mechanical properties that we have chosen steel for were particularly important in achieving the load ratings that we have been able to achieve through the Indestruct bed. Timber across all sizes that we tried was, was unable to perform and get them the load ratings that we have been able to achieve. The Indestruct frame features six metal C-channel beams. Each one of those beams contributes to a 60 kilo assembly of just sheet metal. These have been specifically designed to distribute loads of one or two sleepers on top of the bed evenly into the legs. These C-spine supports are particularly significant because they feature a leg in the middle of the bed on both supports. That allows us to eliminate the bow that is so prevalent on all the bad bed bases. There's a number of processes that create this piece, as well as the symmetrical end pieces. It starts off life as a sheet of cold rolled mild steel or S235, which is a structural steel. That's laser cut into a flat form. That flat form is then pressed into this C-shape using a brake press. It's then powder coated. The powder coating protects it so there is no corrosion over the life of the bed. These are a very beautiful part and, and something that contributes significantly to the performance of the bed. Three, the uniform distribution air support panels. Any mattress that sits on this will be perfectly supported. Your average bed frame has slats. They're usually out of the cheapest possible material. I think everyone's had the misfortune of breaking a slat in their bed from just sitting down or something similar, and it's a real pain when it happens. There's also like a lot of a, a surface area to a bed underneath the mattress, and a lot of bed frames have problems with moisture, basically. If you've got a solid piece of plywood, it doesn't ventilate properly and it causes all sorts of problems. We worked with like a, a strong and readily available and ethically sourced birch plywood and worked up this idea of using the platform for the bed to actually keep the bed square and give the bed even more strength on top of what it's already got. So these platforms bolt into the uh, steel supports frame through these holes here and the different sized holes in the base correlate to where the person might be sleeping and where the body, where your body heat appears from and where any moisture might come from and ventilates it properly. Four, the M39 ultra secure leg assembly. There's six of them. These are the ultimate legs on any bed. No matter how you move that bed, these will never shake. They are made from steel. From an engineering standpoint, a bad bed would have lackluster support in terms of legs. Legs are what meet the ground and hold up whatever's above it. So often we found that the legs were an afterthought. This is what you might normally find. When you cover it up and it's placed on the ground, it might look really nice, but when you actually take it apart, you can actually see this small bolt is all that is supporting any sort of load which shifts side to side. This is almost something that you could snap off by hand. This leg has a precision machined M39 thread, a locking collar that's knurled so you can tighten it by hand. There's a grub screw that locks against the thread. There's a small relief chamfer here, which means it's easy to locate when you're putting the bed together. And the lock actually doubles as an adjustment. Not everyone has a perfectly level floor. In fact, it's more common than a level floor. So this gives you a finite adjustment to be able to move each leg to a position that's flat and then lock it in that position. The lock and the thread together are absolutely over-engineered, but it gives us the confidence to be able to back the promise. We've got hardwood legs that are turned uh, to a very tight tolerance. This, this uh, threaded collar, which is threaded out of steel, is sleeved onto the end of the, the timber leg. So normally, to so your average piece of furniture, they'd use this sort of system of sleeving of timber into another piece of timber, and it's usually only like this long, whereas we've got this much longer sort of bearing on it. Um, this threaded piece of steel is then wedged and glued into the timber. So there's no way that it can come off even with shrinkage of the timber or anything like that. And this threaded section actually connects into the corner pieces of the bed and joins it all together. So it's, it's you'd be hard pressed to break it. It's a pretty strong kind of joint. There's a feeling you get when you hold something that is unmistakably quality. I get that feeling when I hold this leg. It's heavily weighted, nothing moves, everything's rigid. The deliberate design choices of this leg and the quality is in keeping with every part of the bed. It's, it's, nothing was done by mistake and it is quality. Five, the L-spine tri-mount bedhead brace. The L-spine bonds the bedhead to the bed frame 
It has a tri-mount fixing, which means it'll never move. This is a typical attachment that attaches the bed head to a frame. And this is the L-spine tri-mount bed head brace. Having solved sort of you know, the issue of weak legs in the bed frame and the bed frame corners not holding together so well, we kind of came at the bed head as being the sort of biggest issue you find with your average bed frame, which is that they, they wobble around, they bang against the wall, they're pretty painful and they don't tend to be very strongly attached. In bad beds, typically the fixing between the bed head and the frame is one point. The problem with that is the bed head's not securely attached and can move in several directions. We've solved that problem with this, the L-spine. The L-spine extends almost the entire way up the back of the bed head and features a triangle of bolts. This tri-lock allows us to fix, position and hold the bed head in the position it's meant to be, um, reducing squeaks as well as the ability to move. The fastening strength that we're able to achieve with this arrangement is extraordinarily over-engineered. In testing, we had four pneumatic rams attached to this, each of them able to pull at about 150 kilos, um, and we were unable to bend, let alone break. The artisan skins, and here's the key, just because it's built for amazing support doesn't mean it needs to compromise its aesthetic. With this design, we can actually provide you any look that you want to go with your bedroom. These bed frames would easily fit in the most high-end designer showrooms in the world. The SD Indestruct bed range is an extension of who we are at Sleeping Dark. It's the first bed in the world that prioritises support and function over aesthetics. It will never break, sag or fail your back ever, nor will it squeak. The dedication towards our artisan finishes means you'll never have to choose between the look and support ever again. I love textiles because it really brings the colour and movement to my life. Whether it be a cushion I throw on my couch or it's, or it's the clothes I choose to wear, it's really a reflection ultimately of my personality on the day and the way that I'm feeling and the way that I want to express myself to the world. Textiles are particularly amazing because it's fluid. You can pair them with so many different combinations to create a different mood and feeling. Like, it's really a limitless field. Even though the priority has been on support, we wanted to build a bed that could exist in the most high-end showrooms in the world. It's really important that what you place inside your home elicits the feelings that you want to create. So we've designed our sleeping duck bed frame families to suit all types of people and we've categorised them into stylistic archetypes. There are five bed frame families, five different styles to choose from. The first is our baker range. Someone who likes to be reminded of nature the clean and simple shape really heroes the unique grain texture that timber is known for. It comes in European ash, European oak and American walnut. Each bed frame will have its own unique grain pattern, which makes it individual to you. The Boyd family, a modern minimalist style. Clean lines, seamless finish, really heroes the textural patterns. Using thick and thin yarns and yarn dyed colour variations within the fabrication, really subtle texture brings warmth and dimension to each item. Beautiful cross-hatched appearance provides a mosaic when looking at the face of the headboard. The Boyd comes in four different fabric finishes. Ivory, charcoal, frosted green and light grey. Sea spray brings the feeling of coastal luxury to the bedroom. It's our ode to the beachside escape. 
For sea spray, we've selected a linen blend fabrication that has some really nice thick and thin yarns. So it's a solid colour, but the interplay of light on that subtle texture really brings a lovely soft feeling to your bedroom. The Sea Spray has a generously oversized headboard with extra comfort foam padding to give you that sense of luxuriousness. The headboard is finished with flanged edge seams and the fabric has a linen-like slubby feel to it, which elicits a relaxed feeling. The Sea Spray comes in four finishes, wash navy, shell, sea mist, and natural. Colours of the sea and the ocean. Houseman is all about elegance and sophistication. It's a traditional box tufted headboard. We've taken a more contemporary spin on it by making a blind tufting construction, which lends a contemporary feel to this traditional piece. We've spent a lot of time getting the proportions and all the tufts correct. It's symmetrical and boots all sorts of interiors. In terms of the fabrication choices, we've looked at references to do with sandstone and granite textures. So there's subtle shifts in those neutral colours for sandstone and then a slightly darker tone for the granite option. Palais. Presence. Palais headboard is really uh, a bespoke piece of furniture in your home. Each channel tuft is individually applied. There's individual pieces of foam and then the fabric is really expertly sculpted by our makers to achieve that lovely fit and the depth and plushness that everyone wants to experience. It's no longer just a hotel moment. You can have it in your home. We have selected a velour or a velvet cut pile. It's got that really luscious depth of colour and the nap that the fabric has allows it to bring a richness and opulence into your space. The Palais comes in two finishes, navy and jade. 